Hi all, in this video I am going to explain uh, uh, communication channel parameter content based research. I will explain about this feature. For, mm, before going to explain uh, what exactly in which cases do we use this option. So recently I got a one uh, incident ticket. For that uh, actually they are asking uh, mm, we have messages sitting in on queue in SAP PA server. Can you please have a look in look into it? Below are the queue details. They mentioned queue manager as a something and queue details and cu current depth is a five. So they are expecting they are not supposed to see current depth as a five. They are expecting current depth as a zero because there are based on this information what we can understand is. Uh, they are using some MQ system and which is integrated with the SAP PA system and there uh, and these mm, messages in this queue are to be picked by SAP PA system whenever they place uh, messages in this uh, MQ queue ok so there might be some problem with the communication channel but we don't know the communication channel but in PA we need to maintain a separate uh, report uh, uh, based on this uh, queue information and corresponding communication channel details uh, or else we can also search based on this information by using SAP PA uh, extended search I will explain that search for you so we know that uh, that communication channel name is uh, this one let me paste here this is our communication channel details so I will open PA system and uh, this is the integration configuration section and open the communication channel details so uh, and, uh, so it is asking communication component and communication channel but uh, I will choose extended option and my communication instead of communication channel I will uh, use adapt attribute as a adapter in adapter type as a JMS so we have a um, pop-up option will be there and we can use pop-up information as a adapter as a JMS so once we choose the JMS it will identify corresponding parameters for the JMS communication channel so it is asking which parameter do you want so because in that ticket they mentioned the queue information so in our case we need to find out the corresponding queue name this is a queue MQ system right so this is our information ok this is our information just apply and uh, we know that uh, uh, queue name which is provided in the incident ticket ok now click on ok so it will find out corresponding communication channel information if it is there now search so we found one communication channel information here so the communication channel component is this one and uh, corresponding communication channel is this one now double click on this communication channel and uh, as we know the process of monitoring a uh, communication channel channel monitoring ok so the important thing is we need to find out the communication channel based on the um, <coughs> communication channel parameter content so in this case uh, we found that one and uh, we now we can monitor the communication channel using this open open communication channel monitoring it will tell you the status of the communication channel in our case what I observed is uh, um, the communication channel is in scheduled mode that's why the it, it did not pick the messages in the JMS queue so the, the depth of the message queue keep on increasing so whenever the corresponding time which is maintained in the communication channel administration se um, scheduling section whenever it is uh, uh, available that time the communication channel pick the corresponding messages in the JMS queue and it will process that's why those messages are inst instructed in JMS system that was the reason 
the same manner we can sometimes you can uh, they will provide the communication channel parameter uh, content uh, information so we need to identify the communication channel details and uh, we can monitor the communication channel status in the monitoring section that is communication channel monitoring section i hope it would be useful for many uh, some people for some of the people so if you like my video just uh, uh, give your feedback thanks for watching my video